For this video, we want to determine if a function is even, odd, or possibly neither one of those things. Remember, to designate one of these three things, that it really comes down to the symmetry present in the graph. For example, if I have an even function, this means that I can fold it along the y-axis and it would match up with itself. So every corresponding point on one side has another corresponding point on the other. For an odd function, this means that it has origin symmetry, or that you could rotate it 180 degrees and it would match up with itself. So again, for every point on maybe one portion of the graph, there's like a corresponding one on the other side. And neither, well, that's neither one of these cases. So it might have symmetry, but it is not uh, y-axis symmetry, and it is not origin symmetry. Now, if we were always looking at graphs, it'd be really easy to determine even odd or neither. Uh, but of course, most of the times we're just looking at equations and trying to figure it out from there. This is what happens if uh, you see instructions that say determine algebraically if a function is even odd or neither. In cases like this, we can apply certain tests to see whether it is even or odd. Here are those tests. So we can say that a function is even if f of negative x is equal to f of x. Now you might be looking at that going, wait, wait, what does that mean? Well, what we're saying here is that when you plug in a negative value for x, that you get the same value as just plugging in a normal x. Well, what, wait, what is that test symmetry? Well, what's going on there? Well, check out those corresponding points. We already marked them out. So if we were to run down here and say plug in a negative value, let's say we plugged in, I don't know, a negative x, it's the same as if we went over here and just plugged in a normal x. The value would be the same either way. So this test is making sure that all of those corresponding points are symmetrical. Let's look at the test for odd. A function is odd if f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. Wait, is that test symmetry? You bet. Check how this corresponds with the points we've marked out. So if I was to plug in a negative x, so maybe that came from this point, that's the same as plugging in a normal x and then making it negative. So this would be my negative f of x down here. So again, this is checking all of those origin symmetries. So when we have the equation of a function, uh, we want to substitute in a negative x, simplify it as much as possible to see if it satisfies one of these conditions. Let's grab some examples and give this a try. So in each of my examples, we want to determine is the function even, is it odd, or is it possibly neither? Let's start. We'll apply these tests by grabbing our function and plugging in a negative x. So everywhere we see an x, we'll substitute that negative x in there. All right, now we'll try and simplify this. And I can see that this one simplifies pretty good. Negative x squared would actually be just x. This is because negative x times negative x, the negative signs cancel, and they are gone. So negative 3x squared plus 4. All right. Now, look at what that is telling us. So when we plugged in a negative x, we have this. And when we plugged in a regular x, we have this and they're exactly the same. So this satisfies our conditions for an even function. If I plug in an x and I plug in a negative x and it's always the same, yeah, sure enough, it is even. Let's try and apply the, the test to this other function. So we'll start off, plug in a negative x. All right, now let's go ahead and try and simplify this as much as possible, see what it looks like. Uh, so a negative x cubed is a negative x cubed, so the negative sign is really just moved out front, and a negative times a negative would be a positive plus one. Hmm, not too bad, but unfortunately it looks like this one does not match the original. Well, since it doesn't match the original, I know it's not even. 
Let's see, could it possibly be odd? If it's odd, this would be the same as the original, just with a negative sign. And I got a few more signs in here that are completely different. So after applying the test, it looks like this guy is neither. All right, let's do one more example, okay? Let's determine if this function is even, odd, or neither. We'll plug in our negative x everywhere we see an x. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now simplify. I see that negative x squared on the bottom. This will just become a x squared minus 1. All right, looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and move that negative sign out front just to make this easier to see. So when comparing this all the way back at the original, notice how they're not the same. So I know it's not even. However, they're almost the same. The only real big change is that there's a negative sign out in front of this one. That's my condition for being an odd function. So I know that this particular guy is definitely odd. So just by using one of these simple tests, substituting in a negative x, you can quickly determine whether a function is even, odd, or neither.